Hey guys, Huz here, bringing you another live commentary. This time on my Smurf, and basically the reason why I'm on my Smurf right now is um, I went to do a proper commentary on my main, and unfortunately, um, lol replay has stopped working for myself. I'm going to try and fix it, but I thought may as well just do a live commentary of a Smurf game. Um, so let's just see what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to end up doing Lee Sin Jungle, um, so you can kind of compare what a, you know, what I can do in Diamond as a Lee Sin, and what I can do down here. And what am I going to ban? Um, I might ban Shivana. I have to kind of remember that this is kind of lower ELO. Okay, I ban Fizz. Like I don't really know what people are scared of down here. Like they ban some weird stuff. Uh, they ban like blitz crank and uh, stuff like that. So I'm Your gonna go Lee Jungle. My hat. Um, I'm gonna try out my new mastery page that I've been using on him, which is 0219. It's a fairly decent mastery page in my opinion. Um, I've been talking with a friend about it, um, and he mains Lee Sin, so he's got 500 games and done one on Lee Sin. And this is the page he kind of uses. And uh, I've played a few games with it now, and it's pretty damn good. So we'll see how it goes in this game. Uh, so on my Smurf right now, I've done six ranked games, and I'm currently six and one. Uh, I actually, oh five and one, sorry. I actually lost my first ever game in ranked on this uh, this account. I played Zed mid. I was fairly fed, but uh, let's just say my AD carry was at 60 CS at 35 minutes, and there's not much I can do when he does zero damage. But I'm, I'm not. I'm never gonna flame people uh, in chat. It's not worth it. This I'm. I'm coming from this type of game in a totally different perspective to all these different players because you know this is probably their level where obviously me being Diamond 1, Diamond 2 then it's a lot different than this and one of my main things I've noticed so far uh, people don't know when to back uh, people obviously make silly mistakes i.e. diving when they shouldn't um, and it's just general misplay really you know people are just not hitting that CSing is quite poor. Uh, I've had higher CS in the game multiple times now with jungling. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, my team comp so far, I quite like it. Uh, depends what support we get. Like a nice Leona would be awesome in here. As a little bit more of an engage. Uh, there we go. Brilliant. That's really nice. Um, the enemy team, I don't know, they've kind of got a mix match. The team can work, obviously, at anything at any ELO, especially this ELO can work. Um, and what I mean by that, if, say, a Scion gets fed at this ELO, they don't know how to counter it. They don't know to burst the shield before he comes into the fight. They don't know stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, anything can work at this ELO. So my runes, I've only got two rune pages right now. The standard AD page that I'm actually missing one AD quint. Doesn't heart hurt me too much, but you know, I'd rather have it than not, but I'm using this for now. And then my AP page has got full magic pen, which I was going for one AP quint, two AD quints, and then the rest standard. Um, so runes are not perfect right now, but they're good enough, I think, to do ranked with uh, the AD page. I'm not amazingly confident with this page, but if I have to go an AP, then I will most likely use that page. Um, Smite Flash. Obviously, we do have the new icons, which I have to say I don't really like. Um, but hey, oh, we can't really do anything about it now. And here we go. So this um, will be a Lee Sin commentary of I honestly I don't know what yellow this is. I'm gonna start Machete Five with the Warding Totem. Uh, I think we may be covering for the Invade. Uh, is Annie charging stun? No, she's not. So immediately there's one thing that she's not doing that a normal Annie would at Diamond. She's not charging her stun with W. And if she had that, that would be great, but she doesn't. Uh, and again, this weird build with Leona. So you can already see differences uh, between Diamond and... I'm not standing there, they're going to grab there. But um, you already can see differences between Diamond and Bro or whatever we are, high silver, gold. Um, and that's what they, when I'm playing on my Smurf, that is the biggest thing I'm going to try and be pointing out is the differences. Uh, many people ask what is the difference between a platinum and a diamond player, a gold and a diamond, whatever. That is what I'm going to try and do with this Smurf. I'm not just going to show you a game of me crushing because that's kind of pointless. I'd rather just show you how to win uh, or, or what the differences are as well. 
Um, and another thing I have to say that in about this ELO, now that guy has to be very careful, but in this ELO, um, a lot of people think they're experts in the game. And they're obviously not. And it can get a bit annoying. And I imagine for people that are actually in this ELO bracket, it would be really annoying if you have someone telling people exactly what to do and it's a wrong call. And I've experienced that numerous times. So I don't know. It's uh, I think people are a bit too much com a bit confident down here. Like in Diamond, people hardly say anything about what we should do. People agree on things, give ideas. Nobody's just going to say we do this, or oh, very rarely that happens. So anyway, going to do my red buff and try and lose as little health as possible from this. And it was an okay leash. Could have been a bit more. Um, Leona didn't attack it once or tank a hit, which was a bit disappointing. Um, but that should be okay. Obviously, as mentioned, I am going actually tanky and masteries, which does give Lee a bit uh, better sustain in the early game, which is actually quite good for Lee. <coughs> now, if I cough or something occasionally, then excuse me. Uh, winter is coming, so people are, well, including me, have uh, managed to pick up coughs and that type of thing. Top lane, both of them are already quite low. Actually, gonna do worlds because I doubt a Zin is gonna counter gank me. I did have the smite up to go straight to blue, but I may as well just do the worlds on the way. <coughs> um, so, where am I gonna look to gank first? Uh, the lanes I want to snowball uh, are all of them, really. Uh, but that is quite a nice decision or a great tool for a jungler. If you've got lanes that all of them you'd like to snowball, um, then it's actually quite good. No, that's not good. <laughs> Maybe she got grabbed. Um, so hopefully I won't have to completely help bot. Uh, Cho'Gath don't die. He died. This, I should be able to kill him though. Nope. Oh, this isn't good start for my team. I don't know how a Cho'Gath kills a Snorlaf early, but apparently that happened. Okay. I understand how bot lane though. I've got to understand that in this kind of ELO, people will be susceptible to like a Blitz Crank Cook. We're obviously in higher ELO, people just know how to move out the way. Uh, a lot of the time, I do have to say, um, people have patterns of how they dodge stuff, and that is a great thing to do. Like, if you're playing a skill ch champion like Lee Sin, and you always gank the top laner, and he always dodges the skill shot by going up on the screen, rather than down the screen, take that into account, and the next time just aim your skill shot more down when he's trying to dodge. And uh, they're the type of things that you've got to notice when you're in high ELO. So I'm going to go an early back. There's another grab, unfortunately, and that could be another death, I don't know. Um, they've got to be really careful to like Blitzcrank hooks. Um, like Blitzcrank is no means a OP champion. Um, he's quite the opposite. Um, man, that's unfortunate. That was a Zin's out flash, I believe. So yeah, all three of my lanes have now died, um, which isn't great. Let's see what I can try and do this game though. Do, 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 do. One thing I have also have to say is, in this ELO, obviously people are really focused in getting kills, um, and they're not that important. Um, obviously, kills are more a morale thing than anything, um, but yeah, people are really focused. Uh, that charm. Hey, that's good. Alright, All right, one thing they also changed with the new. Oh, she eat. <clears throat> Quiet steps. This may be warded. Yeah, it's warded. Yeah. Well. No, don't go. Another mistake. Why would you go if your jungle is like right here? Oh well. Find your How does Zin have a red buff still? Huh. Did he 
you do it really late? Right, at level 6 I'll probably be looking to try and just carry this game with using kicks because people won't accept, expect it. Uh, severe. Uh, it's the Dodger Blitzcrank Hook, basically don't run in a straight line. It's the simplest thing to do. The, the hook can only go in a straight line. I'm actually going to say that. I'm level 6, my buffs are coming up. So I'll do red, then blue, and then look to try and start carrying the game. Waste not a minute. Would have liked a few kills by now, honestly, but it's just the way that it has gone that my lanes are going a bit odd. <clears throat> Especially top lane. He's died once, killed him, and then died again. So Zin, I don't think has timed his buffs. I'm just going to try and quickly steal this. There you go. Waste not a minute. Oh my god, that cue. That's good. We can probably drag it after that, yeah. We do I need someone else to tank it though. Leona, dude. I have no idea what she's doing. We did Leona straight away. Um, get a bit of tankiness early, get a long sword just for a bit of damage, and then head over to my blue. And then I can probably go to his red. If this guy hovers, then I'll be able to get a free red as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the <coughs> game's going fairly well right now. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll even look for a, t a gank up top lane. Obviously, right have now changed that uh, the enemy trinket. You cannot see how many. Woods they have placed, um, they have made it to unknown, um, which I, I don't know. I agree with it because it was a bit dumb that you could see if they placed any wards. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm coming up. This is probably warded. Extend your senses. I have to be careful with roaming in here. We do what we must. Hmm. Oh well. I'm fine. Waste not a minute. Yeah, this is warded. Okay. Would have liked his red buff there, but uh, maybe was a bit too slow. I'll base now, and I may look bottom mid. Top lane is going to be a hard lane to gank as it is a Cho'Gath, where I think now I'll focus mid and top. I need to get more ganks in. Uh, this game, honestly, I've just been farming a little bit. Um, uh, it's a bad time to go in, but they might do okay here. <coughs> no, they won't. You can't go in with that many minions. It was 
the minions that killed them more than the BF sword. But obviously people at this are your lower experts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, could have gone smoother, but it'll do. I'm coming down. Sweet. Well, I'm getting a bit fed now, which is good. Waste not a minute. Uh, I'll take the white. Why not? The blue may also be up soon. And Zin's going the other side of the map. That's nice to know. Get the reset on that. <coughs> oh God. Hi. So yeah, their blue buff will be up relatively soon um, because I didn't clear it. I did my red and then I think Zin cleared it relatively the same time. Hopefully Olaf can get out of there and then I can take their blue. Yeah, he got, he's good. Nice. Might be a bit too low to try and contest it because if they all come over then I'm pretty much dead so I'm actually just going to back right now. Annie looks like she's controlling the mid. Oh she didn't react quick enough. Just react. Use a spell. Oh. Um, get ward. Cool. Now I'll probably head over to their blue if I can get there in time. She can probably kill the Zin if she has Tibbers. Use Tibbers. Control Tibbers. Maybe I'll be able to kill him. She totally forgot that she could control Tibbers there. If she had Tibbers on top of him, then she might have even survived. Oh, she might have even got a kill, sorry. That's what I meant to say. Right, I'll go over and ward the blue buff again and try to steal this when it comes up. I'm going to actually put it in this bush here because that does give vision of the majority. And then I'll head bottom lane. I'm coming. I'm actually going to run through tower. Go, 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 go. That was interesting. I don't know what's happening with my uh, thingies today. Uh, no, that hit me. I think I'm okay. Phew. I'm okay. So now I'm gonna base, and then maybe if he hasn't done his blue by then, I can go get it. Um, if they can distract them long enough, then that would be great. Um, but I'm actually gonna upgrade that to a lifesteal item, just to have a bit of lifesteal in there, and now I'm gonna head over to their blue. Um, hopefully Zin will stay in this area with, yeah, good. Right, try and keep Zin there. Or not. I'm heading there. She needs to be really careful. She oh she has got tibbers. Okay, now we can take it. Oh 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 oh. Master yourself. Master the enemy. It's fine, I think I can get out. Uh, they're using ults to get me. Good. Holy hell. Whew. And then we get a kill from it. GG. Okay. Nice. Cover. Where am I needed? <coughs> so now I'm taking basically all of his buffs and managing to survive for it. Um, where in Diamond, they would probably punish you for doing that a lot more 
where in Diamond, if they know a pattern that you're coming, obviously Blitzcrank was getting rid of the ward, but I managed to get out anyway. We'll do the blue buff for Annie, and that actually may give me time now um, to get his red. So as you can tell, like this game, I'm just trying to shut down their jungler, just, just punishing him his, as much as I can. Um, because that is a really solid way of winning. So I'm just going to... What I'm probably going to do is... <clears throat> I'm going to put a ward in the Baron Pit here. Put a ward there. And that will pretty much just cover my escape. Oh, hello. I'll probably just go kill this guy up top then. Master yourself. Master the end. Really? Getting her fed, which is nice. Steal this. There we go. Uh, so this game seems to be going fairly well. <coughs> Our bot lane and top lane have not done great. But I think with me and Annie being relatively fed, Severe not being too far behind. Severe's actually... Yeah, Severe's fairly strong. Um, so I think this game may be okay. Um, I don't know if we can get that. Just, we can get Drake, yeah. Me and Annie are kind of on the same wave bench, wavelength, which is actually quite cool. Um, so buy a pink ward, a couple of normal wards, Ooh, one more, there we go. And then I'm going to head bot lane. And then if we can kill them, then we can go Drake, that'll be ideal. But if not, then, well, I probably would actually, did I not clear red? Or did I not take red? I don't know. Or is it back up again? It might actually just be back up again. Who knows? Oh, it's back up again. Time flies when you're having fun. So we could do this red buff. Leona's helping me for whatever reason. She put a ward over the wall. Nice. Alright, we can probably just do Drake now. Cho'Gath looks to be coming down. I'll probably be able to finish this. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> he numbed me! <laughs> oh, that's not nice. He shouldn't eat guests. No. We have to be careful of the bot lane coming. Right, virus. No, I'm out of there. Rip team. She ignited me. I do not want to die. Um, that will lead them either getting mid tower or dragon. One of the two, I'd imagine. Oh no, they go top lane for some reason. So I'm gonna buy my mo boots. Why did they go top? Who knows? Uh, so that is another mistake. When they could have just directly got a, a little bit of a head in the game, so they could have got the mid turret, or they could have got a dragon, they decided against it and went for a kill. Uh, that, there you go, is a crucial mistake. So I'm actually going to go over and cover, because I, I think I can actually pick up a couple kills. Uh, he got charmed. I still think we can probably kill uh, a few here. Yeah, fairly easily. There's one. Slow his attack speed. Oh, 
uh, they died. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I put the ward back on too. So I'm 606 right now with 56 farm. Farm could be better, but I'm a bit too busy right now to be focusing on farm, which yeah, it's fine. Um, and he's probably just going to loop in for this blitz, I'd imagine. That was an interesting E. Um, push it up and then do... Uh, I don't know if we can. We can probably just do Drake. Oh, hello. Their team was coming. That's really bad, actually. We need to stop greed and just get Drake. So they're going to probably get Drake. They can contest if Severe just queues. There you go. Now go in. Hopefully they don't go all in. Just kill that guy. There you go, team. Now you're working. Now you were. Uh, she went way too deep. Yeah, Severe isn't great. But uh, as mentioned before, there's not much I'm going to do with these people uh, at this kind of ELO. Like, I'm not expecting too much. I'm not going to flame them in chat if they don't do anything. I may give a friendly suggestion every now and then, but, you know, I'm not going to walk into every game going, Hi guys, I'm a Diamond 2 slash 1 Smurf. Listen to everything I say, because, yeah, people don't want to hear that. They just want to play their game. Uh, so that is my first death of the game. going to do the dragon probably just by myself because the dragon is really good late game. Many people forget that the dragon now scales into the later game uh, and gives people more gold. So yeah. Why are you waiting in here? There's no point. This guy is either okay. He does know we're here. Kind of want to know. Okay, we'll do you blue. <laughs> like the one thing I've been many people say, like when I'm streaming and stuff, how do I not get angry at my teams? What well, Leona just said in chat, like, are you serious? One sec. How does that help the situation at all? It doesn't. Um. Coming. If we group. Group. Find your center. I just want to protect the Annie as well as I can. Um, because she is kind of what's winning us the game, but the Olaf is kind of refusing to group or just not grouping, which is a bit odd, but I think we still win anyway. Yeah, we won the fight five v four. Uh it's just a, a, a lack of understanding, I think, is the, the biggest reason why people kind of lose. Cool. Then we get free inhib. Um, I'm actually going to hide behind the owner. <laughs> uh, there we go. Nice. That's good. Uh, so one thing I have to say with this series of my Smurf is let me know what you guys think. Like many people, when I ask the question of what do you guys want to see? A lot of people were just a full game commentary of the Smurf, and obviously this is this. So you can see the differences. So let's just quickly go through item builds really quickly. Obviously my item build is going mainly on damage, which I wouldn't do in Diamond. Um, that is a difference. I'm changing my playstyle because I'm at this ELO. Um, so that is why. Like If I'm at Diamond, I'll get totally smashed if I go di uh, damage, because they'll realize that and just focus me down because I'm really squishy. But they haven't. They keep focusing the Annie, which is still a right thing to do. Um, and then let's look at the builds. Annie's build's fine. I would kind of not have the themes on Annie because it's kind of wasted. Uh, Blitz has found himself in a not very good position there. Um, and then if we look at the rest, Olaf's build, I'd probably say is the worst out of everybody's in this game. Um, 
That's unfortunate. That's even more unfortunate. So I'm just I'm I don't need to do anything yet. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I can't hit a Q. I don't know what this is. I haven't been great with my Qs this game. Uh, but yeah, our last build is probably the worst build of this game. Um, okay, there's like four up there. Baron is attacking as well. Alright, nice. Okay. Should be fine. We. What's the Chogath built? Oh, a mixture. Um. So yeah, I probably need to just focus on playing a bit better myself right now. Uh, there's no point nashering. No point. <laughs> Nasher is really good if you're miles ahead and you can just take it for free, or you've aced them. Uh, and we didn't ace them, and we're not miles ahead, so there's not really much point taking it. Well, I'll probably look for Where? an insect grab kick if I can. We don't need to do much more than that. Put that ward there, just have a bit more vision of the area, and probably just go back. So we can probably look for... this is maybe warded. So that ward kind of there just saved me, because if I didn't have that warded then I probably would have died. Um, so Sevilla has not taken red yet, so I'll just go over and take it. Uh, Severe's farm is really good. Uh, Olaf's farm could be better, but it's still okay. Um, it's still good enough to kind of keep him in the game as such. He is 3 7 though, which is a bit bad, but obviously, not much you can do about that now. Uh, Ari's farm is really poor 140. Chogath's been farming relatively good. Varus has been farming relatively good. Um, so you can kind of see where the biggest differences lie. Uh, Midlet or Zin and me, myself. So if you want to look at the jungle difference, I'm 6 113, and Zin is. Uh, oh, damn! Oh god, am I dead? Nope. <laughs> I'm fine. I have done that twice now this game. That I thought I was dead, and I've turned out fine. So I'm actually going to buy myself a giant spell. I need to be a bit tankier because, like that, I went into their fight, but I didn't go into their whole team, and I still nearly died. Um, so I've got to be really careful. So Annie's doing a good job of pushing. Bot lane is doing a good job of minions pushing. Okay, they are splitting, which you have to be careful of. But I think we're strong enough. I think well, I think Annie's strong enough. So I'm going to hover over to Annie, and these three should be fine uh, to get that at least tier two. But I'm going to go up to Annie because she is relatively strong. Okay, they choose to go there instead of to Annie. Interesting. Um, so they have to be careful. They should just back out. There's no point being there. Annie can put a pretty pressure. No, she can't. She did. Uh, she manages to get her though. That's not bad. Um, I'll keep this pushed. Why not? Okay, and then I'll I'll head to Dragon. Um, the inhib is up. So yeah, we can get the inhib for free, and they get Dragon. Go back and buy. And then we can get the inhib again. So this game has lasted more than I would have liked. Um, it's just really the new patch has kind of forced things to last later than people would normally want or like. But it's okay. This kind of playstyle kind of favours um, the old CLG EU. Obviously now EG in America and Alliance in Europe. I'm actually going to throw a ward down over there. That got me. Okay. Um, there you go. I think he used his sweet press, so he won't be able to clear that. Because I would have seen the pink if there was one. So this Olaf's build, what's he got now? So he bought more Mamortius first, which is one of the least cost-effective items in the game. And that's why you always pretty much like buy it last. Um, we're just pretty much just waiting for the team to catch up can't get really engaged and if we get engaged on that would be pretty damn bad that was nice damage though there's the hook gone gotta be awful with my cues today I hit one Uh, 
Oh, I died. There's Tibbers. This this team fight's been really messy, but I think we still win it. Like we didn't have a Tibbers engage. We did. Did we have a Leona ult engage? I'm not really sure. Oh, that was close. They should probably just back out. They're still four alive though. I'm the only one that died, which is pretty good. But as saw, I need to get tankier, so I'm gonna pick up myself a Randuins. Um, I think that'll probably be the best thing to do now. Just push out the side lanes, which they seem to be doing. So one thing I have to say, uh, obviously when I first started this Smurf, I've done six games now. Uh, when I was like at bronze level or silver level, whatever it is, yeah, they are not very good players. They're people that really do not understand the game. But at this level, which I think is like low gold silver, I'm actually fairly impressed. Uh, Leona died to Baron, so the enemy team thinks we're doing Baron now, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed. Uh, team's kind of derping a bit right now. They don't need to do this stuff. Uh, they, they just, they did giving unnecessary kills away, which you do not need to do. Um, so we've got to be careful of them doing Baron. And we can't have a messy engage like that again. That was. Terrible uh, fight for us, really. Like in the in the whole terms of things, we could have just aced them and moved on, but didn't turn out like that. I thought my mob boots would kind of get me out of there. Extend your senses. Uh. All right. See what we can do. We can probably just ace them here when our team comes. Um, that was really bad. No, that was terrible. No, 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 no. Don't fight. Uh, I do not want this fight. Push the side lanes. Find your center. All right. She needs to back off. Nice. Right, this is the whole thing of people don't understand. Like so, something is up with my Q today. We do what we must. They, they just don't understand certain things. Like when to don't go for an engage. If there's a failed start to a fight, then it's probably better not to go in. That like that was really risky. And if the enemy team were a bit more aware of certain things if they were aware oh they don't have any just to like fight they just started to run away from us which was in our favor if they actually turned and fought the only one that turned and fought was Zin and yeah he died straight away near enough um, I've got to be careful of them doing Baron right, they didn't do it cool I think they were going to do it but the basing may be enough of a deterrent. Right, then look for a fight. Oh, so close. Yeah, I wanna get that. Find your center. Right. It's a bit awkward to do insect kicks with like the trinket on C. I need to find a better button when I'm playing Lee Sin. Like I'll have to change it or something um, because I didn't go sight stone this game. Normally I probably would go sight stone, so we can get this and then we can get the next inhibitor that comes up in 10 seconds, um, which is actually pretty damn good timing for us. So we we'll just quickly get this. Uh, just uh, we don't need to do this, but okay, well, they're dead anyway. Oh, Olaf dead. Alright, right, we're good at the moment. Get that inhibitor. What the hell did that hit? I did hit her, it just looked weird. Then push the bot lane. So we're just closing this game out now. Not much the enemy team probably can do at this stage. Um. Drake is up, which is worth doing at this stage of the game. Um, so push that and then go Drake. And then I'll back and then we can Nash. We can just end 
Doesn't really matter. Uh, let me W. Thank you. So this game's gone fairly well. My score's okay. Um, in the previous games I've played Lee Sin Jungle, I've gone something like 17, 4, and 15, and uh, 13, 1, and something. Which is obviously fairly good. Um, places a visible ward that reveals the surrounding area. It's killed. So what's the difference? Uh, I'll buy one of them, I guess. Oh, it's 180 that it's just upgrades how many you can have. So I'm actually going to buy a couple of wards too. Um, move that to three and move that to two. Du -du 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 uh, so the Zim build, let's go with the Zim build. So he's going for the Riggles, which is not worth it. You can see the whole amount of this game, he's only made 226 gold. And the Riggles upgrade compared to a Spirit Stone is just not worth it. Um, okay, Olaf's actually starting this. I didn't actually expect him to start it. Okay, just fight, just fight. This fight actually is not going well at all. Where's Severe? Okay, Severe's cleaning. Okay, we won the fight. Yeah, they didn't go well. I don't know what happened to Tivers, because you'd expect with uh, Annie being 14, 7, 15, that, okay, she kind of derped. Um, I didn't actually use Randuins as well. Oh, I derped as well. A lot of derping going on on my team, but anyway, I think that's the game. Uh, I'd imagine anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the game. Uh, so this was the first commentary I've done on my Smurf. I do have some LoL replay commentaries that I'm expecting to do, um, but with my LoL replay being broke, I'm not really sure when I'll be able to do them. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be sm uh, streaming later today, which is Saturday, um, and probably just do some Smurf games and that type of thing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you can see the differences between the Diamond games and these games, which I believe, yeah, high silver, low gold this is. Um, so if you do want to really see the difference, go back and watch my Lee Sin Diamond commentary, the latest one, and then watch this one, or vice versa, and then you can clearly see the differences. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, one, the question for this video, I haven't done a question in a video for a while, is these live commentaries, many people have said they want webcam in them to, like, I don't know, show me commentating and playing at the same time. Uh, so express your opinion. Do you want to see webcam in the only the live commentaries? In the normal commentaries, there won't be webcam. But do you want to see them in the live commentaries? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.